The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter's outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the run of I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark good morning i'm nico dehan welcome to living a primal lifestyle where we explore a return to our more balanced natural wild world to recover our natural health our rights and our freedoms good morning i'm paige clark man it's a beautiful morning kind of cool 56 degrees in downtown clearwater with clear skies and uh we're gonna have a cold spell for about a week we like it hey yeah, make sure you nice. subscribe to our health signals newsletter news you can use in your inbox twice a month ten dollars a month gets it to you that's right and please pick up our primal edge our uh, one shot wonder over 310 organic cell ready liquid and ingredients that's right get good stuff in and let the good stuff out, and that's with the fulvic and humic acids that we often talk about. That's right. And we're taking your phone calls if you're up bright and early, 877-927-6648. Nico. Yes, uh, so this time of year, uh, people talking about diets, talking about uh, changing the regime, taking their lifestyle, control of it, fresh start kind of thing mm -hmm. after the first of the year. Some people start right now, But which the is question is, you know, what's the right diet? And... Um, I think it's really great that you and I often take the approach, uh, it's up to you, really. Everyone has the right to change their mind, to try different things, but really where you're at today is a, um, in your diet is a journey that you took based on seeing what worked right for you. Yeah, and seeing what other species do also. I mm -hmm. think that's really important. Observing. Being yeah, the observer. Ob observing instead of, you know, we know we're not the type of animal that uh, eats constantly, although some people seem to. Right. Uh, the ruminants, the cows and the sheep and horses and things like that. True. Their face is always down there and they're always eating. Uh, we're more like the predators, like a lion or a tiger or a uh, dog perhaps, or even a pig that. Uh, when they're hungry, a pig is even more so because they seem to always be eating. But if you take a that's interesting. Dog, though they say that there's a lot of anatomical similarity between a pig and humans. Well, I think the digestive system because we can eat the same things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're eating all the time. They're eating all the time. Yeah, and that's why I guess we can if we want to. But uh, I look at more like a dog or maybe a lion. But if you want to look like a pig, then you eat all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's and a good point want, there. Yeah. And if you want to look like a lion, <laughs> good then morning, let Matt. your hair grow. Um, but uh, my point is, is that a lion kind of lays around all the time, and then when it's hungry, it goes out and gets something, and then eats it, and then lies around again. Yeah. Well, that's because he eats that big influx, so, and he just gets so exhausted. Yeah. He's got to like focus on taking a cat nap, so right. break it all down. But they don't seem to exercise too much, except in play, or in sex, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember reading somewhere where the, when the white man showed up and uh, at the Shoshone village. They said, boy, these people are just lazy. They're all laying around, not doing much. Uh, the only thing they do is gather some food and then eat it and, you know, maybe go hunting. And then they lay around. Right. And that reminds me of the, the lion or the tiger or even the snake. Perhaps, and those people you know. ate what kind of diet? Well, they were eating uh, mostly uh, animals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, because it was a big digestive issue. But anyways... Yeah, let's Whatever look your at diet all is, let's talk about diets because you know what? An individual's diet is the sum of food and drink that he or she habitually consumes. And uh, it's the practice of attempting to achieve or maintain a certain weight through diet is what we mostly think of it. But really, diet is information. Food is information. We're going to be talking more uh, on another show uh, about a lot of the research that uh, Sayer G from Green Med Info is talking about the power of the information in the food. We always talk about DNA, but we're going to go to RNA. But yeah. let's define what are diets. Let's start this year, give you some full definitions of what some Well, the thing I wanted concern. to mention here is that people's dietary choices are often affected by a variety of factors, including ethical, religious beliefs, clinical need, or a desire to control weight. Or, you know, Not mm -hmm. what's on the mind of the tiger or the lion. You're right. Yeah, because we're thinkers. And 
I don't think our ancient ancestors thought about the religious aspect somewhere along the line got involved, certainly, and some of the ethic, uh, ethic kind of things. In other words, your clan probably was involved in it. because. But that was based, I think, more on the area where you were. Right. And it says here, not all diets are considered healthy. Uh, some people follow unhealthy diets based on their habits. But either way, one particular diet may be healthy for you and not healthy for me. So let's just let's, go, let's define what some of your what options the, are. That's what the current thinking is. Right. Yeah. I yeah. don't, I don't particularly agree with that, but I think uh, it has some value in there. But I wanted to just go through what, uh, you know, some of these sites that I visited. Well, this is uh, uh, Wikipedia, and this will uh, list them in categories. The first category being the vegetarian diets. They have quite a few different types. They have the fruitation diet, which is... Uh, fruititarian. Fruititarian, which is... Uh, just eating primarily fruit, yeah. eating raw fruits. Yeah, lack Very high in enzymes. Yeah. Most fruititarians have a kind of a glow to them because they get a lot of enzymes to do work. Of course, they're not eating uh, fruit that is in season all the time, I would think, because a lot of fruit isn't there most of the year. It doesn't seem like it would be a natural diet because there's times of year that there's no fruit, so how could that be a natural Unless way to eat? Unless you're following eat? the seasons with everybody. Or, yeah. or you live in a tropical society, you know, yeah. culture. Yeah, well, in the modern world, you can do it because the stuff is shipped all over the place. You'll okay, so a lacto-vegetarian. Yeah. What is a lacto-vegetarian? Well, lactose, lactose sugar obviously means it has uh, dairy. some dairy in it. A vegetarian diet that includes certain types of dairy, such as... Uh, Probably milk, maybe cheese. Yeah, yeah maybe milk and but cheese. But it excludes eggs. But it excludes eggs and animal rennet. Uh, and this is a religious type of diet, Hinduism uh, and, uh, you know, all these different Indian... Yeah, based on ahimsa, yeah. the science or, or the theory or the belief in ahimsa, which means do no harm. And then the ova vegetarian, which is a diet that includes eggs but excludes dairy, and then you have the opposite, which Ovo includes... Ovo-lacto-vegetarian yeah. is a vegetarian diet that includes eggs and dairy. Right. And then you have the vegan diet, which uh, really removes all animal products, and some people even go a lot farther. They even don't include honey. Yeah. Because and, it's an animal product. Right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also, they uh, a lot of them don't wear uh, clothing. Uh, yeah, they, they, uh, they, they take that belief usually into not using any products in everyday life, whether it be clothing or something like yeah. that. So mm -hmm. it's a conscientious type of thing if you think it really means something. So then we can <clears throat> kind of move into a semi-vegetarian diet. And what does that incorporate? A semi-vegetarian diet is predominantly, pre <clears throat> predominantly a vegetarian diet, but might have a, some meat occasionally. Yeah. And uh, there's Kang a lot of these Kangatarian is a diet originating from Australia. In addition to foods permissible in a vegetarian diet, kangaroo meat is also consumed. Yeah, because probably in, uh, if you look at uh, the vegetation in uh, Australia, right. you've got a lot around the edges, but in the center there's not a lot, so you have to eat something else. Right. And the kangaroos are all over the yeah, place, so the, that makes sense. Yeah, pescatarian. And that includes, includes fish. fish. And, but not other meats, and then the plant-based was used to describe a diet that uh, all the portions come from only from plants. Are you a polotarian? Maybe you're a person who eats chicken and poultry, but not other meats from animals. Oh, I thought it was and then a playing po polo. <laughs> and eating. then a polo pescatarian, <laughs> we basically a white meat eater. So chicken let's continue this journey because I really want to see what's out there. So yeah. uh, we'll stick around, folks. And Be right uh, we'll back be after the break. That's right. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And welcome back to the show. So let's go on to different kinds of diets, and we're talking now about weight control diets. And this is really what uh, I first heard about in diets, I think. I think I, that most people associate diet with weight with, loss. Yeah, instead. But, you know, it's not always the case. There's some people that really need to go uh, have a certain diet so that they can maintain their weight. But here's some, let's go into some categories here uh, because these could fall into the, what we call the low-calorie diet. Okay. Um, and this might fall into an area where we are restricting calories. Number one, intermittent fasting. We talk a lot about that. That's cycling between non-fasting and fasting as a method of reducing overall calorie consumption. Yeah. There's one called Body of Life, a calorie control diet promoted as part of a 12-week Body for Life program. Yeah, that sounds like somebody's marketing plan. Yeah. A cookie diet. Oh. A calorie control diet in which low-fat cookies are eaten to quell hunger often in place of a meal. Oh, that yeah. sounds What's boring a low to fat, me. Well, low-fat cookie would be the cookie with uh, the made out of normal things, probably low-fat probably sugar substitutes, well, both bad yeah, things Probably all book. yucky stuff. Yeah, the yep. hacker's diet. We're telling you this because these are things that you may be seeing because this is the time of the year where all these diets right. float out there to try and get your attention. The hacker's diet is a calorie-controlled diet from the hacker's diet by John Walker. And the book suggests that the key to reaching and maintaining the desired weight is understanding, carefully monitoring calories consumed and used. So it's really a calorie yeah. counting diet. Nature system is a yeah, food calorie selling country. A the company. Cal calorie counting really was a big thing for many, many years. Pretty much disproven with the advent of looking at leptin and insulin and how the body works. Uh, a and, calorie uh, is not a calorie, I don't think. Uh, I don't. Well, think it is it a gets... calorie, but it's used differently right. in the body than we think it does. Correct. Uh, I think that yeah. the utility of it. Right. is used yeah exactly yeah. and so nutrient systems and weight watchers these can be great systems for people i think primarily because of the camaraderie of the group type of thing yeah. the not having to think about your food but i do think it, these systems produce you know they're usually funneled by processed food and that's so much against what we think is, yeah. is ideal yeah next is very low calorie diets these are even more restrictive and uh, the key -E diet that's a diet that uh, individual feeds through a feeding tube so that's really drastic the other one uh, the breathitarian is just a belief it's a diet in which no food is consumed based on the belief that food is not necessary 
for human subsistence. We could go on on this um, because I'm going to say that that's probably the truth. And you know why? Right. Because we're eating food for the information, mm -hmm. the RNA, DNA type information, for the epigenetic information. We're eating the food for the light. Well, I would and if say. We gaze at the sun. Uh -huh. Perhaps. I think that involves somebody more evolved than I am. That's well, no, just my own opinion. Well, so, so well, I didn't mean that about you, but I mean, no, no, in no, general, I, I think you have to work on your consciousness to sure. work on the sun gazing or breathitarian to get your energy from the ether, mm -hmm. which is the breathitarian or the light from the sun. But so now let's go to the low carb low carb diet. diets. Mm -hmm. Yes, Atkins diet. That was probably the first one anybody's ever heard of, and uh, pretty much in the uh, you know I think 1970s, late 70s, mm -hmm. early 80s mm -hmm. it began, and this is pretty much saying okay the meat is good for you. You can eat anything you want as far as meat's concerned. Just cut out the carbs. You're going to lose weight. And, and I think that really came about at a good time because in the 20 years before this diet, the Atkins, Dr. Atkins no GMOs. diet. There were no GMOs then, but there had been a steady increase in carbohydrates yes. from the 30s. Right. And so they said, hey, wait a minute, we need to go back to eating maybe more like we did in the 20s and 30s before yeah. we saw and this onslaught. Even onset. probably before, we say 30s and 40s, but if we look at Weston A. Price, he already knew there was a problem. because That he, was what he saw. He saw it in the dentition. He saw the tooth decay. That's right. So when we started eating cereals and those things started coming in, the Excessive tooth decay. Excessive carbohydrates, yeah, yes. Exactly. Yes. So. The Dukin diet. Maybe you haven't heard of the Dukin no, I diet. Heard of that one. It's a multi step diet based on high protein and limited carbohydrate consumption. It starts with two steps in, in, intended to facilitate short term weight loss, followed by two steps intended to consolidate these losses and return to a more long term diet. Mm -hmm. uh, the South Beach diet is really uh, was based on the uh, Miami based cardiologist who says that the key to losing weight quickly and getting healthy isn't cutting all carbohydrates and fats from your diets, it's learning to choose the right carbs and the right fats. That yep. sounds a lot like how we recommend, you know? Uh, kind of. At least well, that's I like how it started. Yeah. The South Beach diet really introduced me to the macadamia nut oil. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he was a big fan of that. And when you look at the nutritional profile of the macadamia nut, it really is, I believe, superior to even olive oil. And yet we know olive oil does has had some, you know, really good health benefits. Yeah, well, we got avocado oil. That's great, too. Okay, we go mm -hmm. next to the low-fat diets, uh, and this is... Uh, this. this is McDougal diet, which, yeah. as I, you know, talked a little bit last year, Dr. Um, uh, Marshall from mm -hmm. Premier Research, bless his heart, um, had really gone, fallen into the McDougal camp. Okay. In fact, McDougal came and spoke at the Premier Research Labs, our big meeting okay. that I did not attend this year. Well, it's a high-calorie, high-fiber, low-fat diet based mm -hmm. on starches, potatoes, and rice. And yeah, which, this would be completely the opposite of what you would believe, yet there are lots of people. Uh, you know, Dr. McDougal has had tremendous health turnarounds for mm -hmm. certain people, but then my question is, what were these eating? These people eating before probably McDonald's and yeah, Arby's. And you always right? have to go back to that. But again, a uh, this is food that, uh, except for rice, uh, are New World foods. The, yeah, he so says Europeans, these are... Europeans were never subjected until the 18, 17, 1800s to potatoes or beans at all, ever. Or rice. No rice, really. Uh, remember Marco Polo went. To to the uh, to the east, brought back many spices and things, but one of and the things. And the black we, forbidden rice, right? right? Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, but really, around the world, um, you know, there have been societies that have thrived on starches, but as you yep. always said, they thrived instead of starved. Did right. they really thrive, or did they just survive? Well, if you look at the, the famines and things like that, and when I'd you survive, I'd say they maybe survived is thriving. Yeah, and what, you listen, if you're going to survive on a food and a uh, food that maybe your mother or your grandmother ate, mm -hmm. you're going to probably eat that thing because this, this is part of the culture. This saved our lives. We need it, and we're going to keep it around in case. And that's, I think, how it starts. Mm -hmm. You know, think about the, the white rice and think about all these things that we use as what I call food extenders. We need those things around because if the other stuff's not around, we need to extend the food. And if nothing else is around, we need to eat just that, just to subsist. Mm -hmm. Because we're not going to do what that other guy says and think that we're going to live off the sun and the air. Because that hasn't happened yet. Oh, yeah, it has. Well, not to me. 
Well, I know, but there have been people that well, have. But they but, say, right. yes. Yeah. yeah. But you just have to think about it, Nico, before we go into this last okay. section. Um, when you become a person who can handle the intermittent fasting or eat more fats for satiety and you're able to not have to be munchy munchy, you eat less, you spend less money, so it makes me feel like you'd be better prepared for a food shortage. A lot of things that Dave Dubine has explained to us, mm -hmm. that the grand solar minimum is going to produce food shortages, you know, we're talking about, you know, huge crop losses in, yeah. these, in these grain foods. Yeah. Which, if these grain foods aren't around, what's that going to yeah. do to the animal foods? Exactly. So, so it really gets crazy. When we come back, we'll kind of go over what are some of the crash diets that you might hear about. Doesn't sound like a good thing to do. Yeah, may, you know, crash sounds like crash and burn. You maybe. need your seatbelt for that one, right. I think. Yeah. Or <clears throat> perhaps these could be viewed as cleansing, short-term duration. I like that better. Yeah, yeah. we'll give you okay. some tips here Stick around. When, get, when we get back. Pick up some primal edge while you're at it, folks. It's time to do it. Mm-hmm. like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So we're coming up on a new year. It could be a new you. What about a new diet for you? So here we go into, here are a few diets that are considered perhaps crash or short-term diets. Yeah, which is uh, right away tells me this is not a healthy thing to do. Uh, uh, I do believe in going all out naturally. When I switched my diet, I kind of just switched and I, I crashed into that diet, but I didn't go back out of it again. Mm -hmm. So, but I think these short term diets can be good, but I like what you said before the break. Mm -hmm. 
these are the type of things where you can shake up your body a little bit by doing a sure. fasting or doing... No harm in doing them as sort of a cleanse or a purging time. You know, like the Beverly Hills diet, which is basically a fruititarian diet. Mm -hmm. uh, the cabbage soup diet. That the cabbage soup diet one. is a great diet yep. in terms of... Uh, Cleansing. Right, and because cabbage is the doctrine of similars, it's the stomach lining, so yep. it's very gut healing. And same with grapefruit type of diet, even though it's Enzyme, a fruit and a citrus, rich. Uh, it, it probably is not a citrus that might uh, spike everybody's uh, insulin. Some people perhaps, but not mm -hmm. not on a uh, on a level that orange juice would do. This one I just think is kind of ridiculous. I don't even know the Israeli. Subway diet. I thought, oh, oh. do something. It's, well, they have the Israeli Army diet. Did you know? Oh, mention? okay, yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, I guess so. just for Israelis. But the subway diet, that's not going down into uh, taking the tube somewhere. That's where you go to the subway and get a subway sandwich, is, right? Yeah, I just don't understand that at all. But there are people that have had success, but many times, usually Where are they person, coming from? Yeah, maybe eating a fried, you know, um, Well, if you're, if you're uh, obese, if you're 40% uh, uh, of your uh, fat uh, overweight, let's say, that you've had such a bad diet, no... If you restrict anything, you're going to lose weight, I would think. So here are, here are a couple of the, um, what they consider detox diets. You've heard us talk about here juice fasting and the master cleanse. Mm -hmm. The master cleanse, I personally do think, is a really cool little cleanse. It was developed by Stanley Burroughs, mm -hmm. who, um, who actually believed in a lot of etheric healing mm -hmm. and the power of light. And I had a great experience on the Master Cleanse, and I did it for 17 days. And that's the lemonade, cayenne pepper, maple syrup. And believe it or not, it sounds crazy, but you're getting all your necessary enzymes and vitamins and minerals right. in that little concoction. And after a few days, you are not hungry at all. And I think that can be a great, just kind of give the digestive system a break. Yeah. And juice fasting, uh, that's uh, using vegetable juices and things like that. I think if you did this for a, a couple of weeks during the time when those particular vegetables or fruits were... Yeah, uh, use it as a seasonal as approach. As a seasonal, right. then you're, you're using it as a cleanse. So for and example, yeah, you know, so. now that we're getting cold snaps in mm -hmm. Florida, citrus is is in season. Yeah. It's the cold that makes the orange sweet. That's right. Right. Or okay. the lemon ripe. So. so then we go on to belief-based diets and these Yeah, we be, hit on uh, a few of those. Yeah. You know? This is really based on religion uh, and you have a lot of different ones. I don't think we need to go into each one of these, but uh, you know, a lot of people are going to, uh, if they're very religious and they're using a particular religion to get themselves connected to their friends and family, great. I think that's a good idea. Uh, I would say, you know, some of those diets probably are, are very healthy. Uh, some of them really are based on lots of breads and things like that. This, too, this is interesting. Um, this is something called the Word of Wisdom, the name of a section of the Doctrine and Covenants, a book of scripture accepted by members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And here's the dietary advice, which includes, number one, wholesome plants in the season thereof. Yes. So I think that's interesting, stating that they should be seasonal, mm -hmm. eating meat sparingly and only in times of winter or of cold or famine. Mm -hmm. So again, more of a hunter. Obviously, there's no if there's snow on the ground, you're not going to be picking dandelion. Yeah. Right? And the last part is and grain. And grain is, is the, staff the staff of, of life. life. Interesting. Yeah. And uh, it, uh, again, the staff of life is something that saved humanity somewhere along the line. And then we need to reproduce this stuff. And, and the question and, is, do grains actually help us survive, not thrive? Yeah, and they help us survive for sure, definitely mm -hmm. not thrive. And uh, the grains of today are not the grains of yesterday either. So the, there's a big uh, change there. And <clears throat> remember that our ancestors <clears throat> really did a lot <clears throat> of things to grains to make them uh, a staple. Mm -hmm. You know, when you ferment them and let them sprout and change the uh, toxins that are in there and cook them, then you're, you're changing it and you can use these. It's not as healthy as eating meat, I would say, but uh, it's, it's going to keep you alive and that's good. Yeah, so when, when the saying came about that grains were the staff of life, was that um, mass media manipulation? Yeah, through, you know? through religion, sure. Sure. Um, you know. The idea that... But we think um, of the purpose behind it. Right. You know, here we're going through hard times, not, not enough animals around, we're living in the desert anyway, mm -hmm. uh, so now we need something that'll get us through, and this is something definitely that did. Yeah. So, yeah, staff of life for sure. So, then we have diets mm -hmm. that are fo uh, followed for medical reasons, and uh, you have diabetic diet, the How's DASH that diet. How's for most people? <laughs> uh, well, there's a lot of people on these because we have a lot of medical problems. 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know. and yeah, so and some limit- of these medical things. Remember that D'Agostino. I'm sorry for interrupting, but mm-hmm. remember D'Agostino and all these doctors at all these different universities using ketones and using diet to uh, get rid of disease through sure, diet. Sure, we've only. seen so. a great work with <clears throat> epilepsy and stuff like that. Um, yep with the ketogenic diet. So yes, there are certain types. The elimination diet for helping to heal gut issues, the gluten-free, uh, when we th- see high inflammation and so forth. Uh, we could go on and on. Oh, we have a list of other diets, the alkaline diets, the blood type diet, the eat clean diet, the uh, fit for life, uh, food combining, uh, Gershon, kidney. the Graham diet, high protein diet, high residue diet. Uh, and what I really wanted to do next is go into some of the popular things that uh, people say and what science may be saying about diets. Mm -hmm. So I think when we come back from the break, we'll go into that. But I was listening to a uh, podcast last night from Sean Baker. Mm -hmm. Sean Baker. Sean Baker. uh, Sean Baker is a surgeon, Mm -hmm. and he's a high-powered athlete. Uh, into bodybuilding and so things like that. So there's a high performance High diet. performance. And years ago, way before everybody else, he started just doing what he calls a, car, a carnivorous diet. So in other words, the picture that I painted for about the lion just kind of laying around and then going to grab some food and then laying around again, that's basically what he the does. The way he lives. That's kind of the way he lives. So he's mostly meat, 90%. He says if he's hungry after consuming his staple, which is always meat, then uh, he'll eat a piece of cheese or maybe a, a little broccoli or something that he has around. But the main staple is he's very similar to how I look at it, that most of the problems that are within me are caused by the plant food and not the other stuff. And, and a lot of people still would hear you saying that and mm-hmm. would be, you know, in shock. I mean, because yeah. the world paints a picture. Look, you can look at the picture on the Telestrator of the girl and the, and, the, and the bright colored vegetables. And that is the message that we get that these are the health foods. Not, you know, you know if we had a picture of a, a butcher's place, we, we, we wouldn't get the same kind of, kind of view. You might you just yeah. scroll down, he's saying. Um, so, you know, what is healthy? Um, well, we have Tom uh, from Tampa on the phone, and I want to uh, get him on right after the break. So, But my main thing is is that, uh, you know, the picture that's being painted out in the media is completely different than what I do well, and what Baker was talking about. Well, that a lot of areas. That's right. Well, that's true, but I'm talking about food here mainly. And uh, most of the problems seem to come from vegetables and fruits that are eaten out of sync with our... And hybridized and yeah. not and recognizable to our bodies. Tom yeah. from Tampa. Hang on. We've got to go to a break, but we want to talk to you when we get back. Be right back, folks. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to remind people to pick up my Health Signals newsletter. You know, I have a new one coming out next week, but this one is full of stuff that you really need to know, what we've talked about in the past couple of weeks. So please pick that up. $10 a month gets it to you twice on the first and third Tuesday of every month. We'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We We take take it it every every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. FNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Hey there, Tom from Tampa, are you out there? Hey, Paige, Nico, how you guys doing? Hi, Tom. Good morning. What's good, up? Good, good. Hey, you know, I, I thought that was interesting in the newsletter back. It's been a few months ago. Uh, the one individual wrote that, you know, you can almost make the argument that uh, vegetables could be compared to uh, fast food. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, it kind of stuck with me, you know, because uh, I know you've mentioned it a few times, ago about the sugar. Now, I eat my vegetables, too. I'm like you, Paige, you know. Uh, but uh, I, I thought that was uh, kind of got my attention on that. I think, you know. You don't have to eat a lot of them, like I've heard you say a few times. Well, there's a lot I mean, of uh, scientists and doctors that I listen to, and some of the things that they are saying goes along with exactly that, that uh, the problem with the vegetables today, they're not the vegetables of, uh, you know, years and years ago. So they've been... They're not the wild foods. They're not the wild Which foods anymore. Which is where anymore. the primal age comes in. Well, that's it's certainly true. Uh, this, you know, you yeah, need to supplement. Which is the greatest invention of humankind. I mean, I, I love that stuff, of course, you know, I... I you know, I've been on it for quite some time, you know. Yeah. Oh, we appreciate um, that, Tom. We like hearing from people that are feeling great. You know, it's, um, I can't tell you, you know, you're one of those people that lets me know all the time that you love it. And uh, and the other thing is, is uh, I've, I've had a couple people say, thank you. I think we got pregnant because of the brain. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. Know, yeah. When, when the body yeah. gets the nutrition it needs down to those micronutrients, that's what we're trying to get with the primal edge. You know, we're trying to get the, the micronutrients in. But when you come back to saying, I liked what you just said that, you know, perhaps some of the plant foods could be seen as fast food. Yeah, they are kind of fast because it takes a lot of energy to to catch an animal. Well, and uh, that's not fast food. But, you know, when you look at the nutrient density of those key fat-soluble nutrients and vitamins A, D, E, and K. Where are you going to find them? You're going to find those in animal foods. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know, you had mentioned there a few weeks ago, uh, Nico, about your neighbor there. Um, I think they had their son, you know, you could, uh, that, that was an actuary. Right. Um, not switching subjects here, but, you know, you see more and more of that. I think, you know, a lot of your architects, I, I think a lot of your traders are actuaries, you know, they're loaners, whatever you want to call them. I right. mean, um, and, you know, it's just, it's just the way it is nowadays world, you know. That's for sure. Um, you know, with all the technology and everything, you know. Yeah. Covey, I used to read a lot of Stephen Covey stuff, and uh, he said, hey, there's nothing wrong with it, man. It's just, you know, it's just the way it is sometimes, you know. Yeah, that's for sure. And hey, I appreciate like your you insights. Thanks okay. a lot. Hey, you guys are doing a great job, man. Thanks hey, a lot, Tom. Tom. Thanks for calling always great always, to hear sir. from you. Thank you. Okay. So one of the we things... got a comment, too. Primal Edge has been fantastic. Totally agree. Well, we yeah. are glad yeah. you guys are, are buying the Primal Edge. We tried to come up with something. Nico and I wanted to find something. We call it our one-shot wonder. Yeah. I mean, we, we just it's like the insurance policy. You know, yeah. you want to kind of have a seat. And know, Matt also tier. is asking, uh, did you, he got a copy of the Dr. Uh, Grundry book, Plant Paradox. That was Paradox. Marshall. Marshall what? asked the question. Yeah. Oh, Marshall? Oh, no, no, that was, that's, no, that's Matt. Matt was yeah. talking about Dr. Grundy's book, Plant Paradox. Yeah, it really is a uh, open eye opener. I encourage people to uh, read that book for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, the that other one is called the lectins, which are those or the anti nutrients in plants, guys. Yeah. 
-hmm. And um, the other book, uh, Fat for Fuel by Dr. Marola, uh, Mercola, that Marshall was talking about. Uh, yeah, great book also. Marcola, of course, is in the same camp that we are as far as uh, realizing that fat is not the enemy and that uh, we need clean food. And the cleanest food in the world is the animals that are eating their own clean food. Yes. And that's the, that's the problem. So it's not only animals eating bad food, but plants also eating bad food. Uh, plants being grown in uh, conditions that are not optical, uh, optimal anymore. We're, we're sweetening these plants up, and we're using just maybe seven plants when our ancestors probably ate 100 to maybe 300 different plants out in the if wild. If you're a forager, that's when the plants can be good. And you know what's yeah. so amazing is one of the best plant foods for you um, we've been trained to spray it with weed killer, and that's the dandelion. <laughs> yeah. And it's coming up in sidewalks. It's trying to say, hey, I'm important. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and yet we get rid of it. Let's go to this article that says the nine most popular diets rated, uh, you know, I think this was interesting. Nico and I like this because it was in a mainstream news article called Medical News Today. And um, uh, what was interesting about it is the top three diets are fat-based diets. I mm -hmm. thought that was great. Number one, these were... Uh, medical professionals rating top diets. Atkins came in as a way of controlling the levels of insulin in the body through a low-carb diet, and that's one of the brilliant things about the Atkins diet, is it really drew attention to the fact that our instability and our insulin levels was the real culprit. Yes, and he understood this because Dr. Atkinson uh, was actually studying cancer. And uh, heart disease. And heart disease. Mm -hmm. uh, and started seeing the correlation between insulin, leptin, and how these hormones are controlling what happens to our body. And the carbohydrate is the, the that food type that those. really causes the, yep. the volatility in the sugar index yeah, so the next for you one, stock people. And the next one is the zone diet, one that I was on in the late 80s. That's what kind of started me down this I path. I call that that you can't make up your mind diet. It's 30-30-30, right? Or something like that. 40, 30, 30. 40, 30, 30. Yeah, 40 carbohydrates, 30% mm -hmm. fats, and 30%. So this was the first time we said, okay, we need some fat. We need 30% right. fat. And everybody goes, ooh, 30% oh, fat, that's a lot. Oh, that was right on the heels but of the uh, heart disease. If you, if you realize that the stuff. amount of energy in a fat cell is twice as much as a protein or a carbohydrate. You get more bang for your buck. You get more bang for your buck. So you're, not, you're eating more in uh, energy, but you're not eating more in volume. And there, that's the real difference. Mm -hmm. And I would even go say that uh, the 40% knock that down to 10, and you add the... Uh, swap them, maybe. Swap them. I would say add the 40 to the 30, mm -hmm. and then you get about 70% of uh, your calories in fat, and then the rest is about... you got enough for about 20% uh, protein and 10% carbs. Mm -hmm. That's my look at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the carbs aren't the types of carbs that uh, most people consume, not mine. I don't eat any bread or pasta or anything like that. I will eat some greens now and then. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Number three, the ketogenic diet. We've been talking about that a lot with you all. Ketogenic diet, as I mentioned earlier, was used for decades as a well-established established medical treatment for epilepsy. So any neurodegeneration, what do we see an explosive expansion of is neurodegenerative diseases, whether it be ADHD or depression, anxiety, or Alzheimer's. These are all neurodegenerative, and ketogenic, if, And if you see what's happening in the world with the violence and everything, like that, these are brain diseases. This is where you go out of whack and you go over the edge in a snap because you're on that edge so much and, and we, anything can set you off. And we have a lot of people um, that are... are, are looking for a pharmaceutical solution when it's really a food solution. Yeah, well mm -hmm. that's the brainwashing part of our media constantly telling you what foods to eat and what medicines to take. And, and putting those commercials in every minute that they've got a, there's a pill for that. Yeah. And, yeah. and, uh, like and showing I you all the uh, side effects and that is kind of dismissed at the end. we got to put this in but it doesn't mean anything folks. So we know that it's the food. Yeah. And, and this the is very... The food and the environment is really yeah. what codes And the interesting part is what you said, the Atkins diet the zone diet and the ketogenic diet are leaning much more towards paleo. Ketogenic definitely is paleo, uh, even beyond paleo, some people say, because mm -hmm. you're looking at it from a different, more of a scientific that's the only difference that I see. You're looking at it scientifically instead of how mm -hmm. our ancestors knew this. And then, and then really, four. it's the next diet. That's when the vegetarian, the vegan, 
diets come in after those. And then number six, we get into those, what I call the more marketed diets, the Weight Watchers, the South, the South Beach, Beach diet diets. we had talked about earlier. And these are marketing schemes, like you said, because there is a specific plan for these and you buy the plan. The raw food diets. Yeah. And then number nine, the Mediterranean diet. I was surprised that it was dropped down to number nine. Yeah, I would think it'd be up there mm -hmm. uh, uh, with the but Atkins. the whole that. key is Western diets can shorten your life. The standard yeah. American diet, the SAD diet's out. Yeah. Okay, we'll be right back, folks. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices, located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. And welcome back. Uh, I wanted to go to this uh, Ice Age era cave system that was found under a major city, which was Montreal. It's the Pi 12 Park, lies in the heart of Montreal, surrounded by busy streets. But what lies beneath the streets uh, are uh, really making uh, a buzz because they found these caves. Yeah, so it's a new network of caves that they say date back to the Earth's early ice ages. And, yeah. you know, we talked to you guys about that. Make sure to tune into David Dubine's 20. video, Adapt 2030, and learn more about what we mean when we're talking about the coming ice age because these extend nearly 700 feet and were discovered in October. Uh, by two speleologists, cave experts, and the find was only recently announced after the site was secured. Yeah. Can you guys see that picture up there? Pretty Cool. Yeah, that. so they're going through this, these caves. A large network that is first discovered in 1812, but now they've really uh, looked at it. They've dug sewers, they made basements, and no one has ever seen them. Uh, they look through this. There's large rooms in there. Uh, 
big drops, uh, tall, narrow hallways. The walls are perfectly smooth and the ceiling is perfectly horizontal. They estimate the ceiling to be nearly 20 feet high. In addition to the smooth limestone walls lining the cave, stagnites and uh, stagalictics, or whatever they're called, are found throughout the passage. So this has been around for a long time. And what they think is that people use these when things got bad, which was the ice age. Yes, so during the last ice age, which ended about 10,000 years ago, ice would have covered much of North America. Mm -hmm. In the tens of thousands of years that ice was retreating, took some time, guys. There's your little Fibonacci retracement, you stock people. Yeah, I uh, would... It was rapidly receding glaciers created fissures in the yeah. terrain. So this uh, map goes back about 4,000 years. It's a retracement. Uh, and what you're looking at here is present day the warming trend that we had for the past 20 years. We're in uh, solar cycle 24 right Where now. Where are you? Let's see your cursor. So right yeah, move it around a little bit. Okay, yeah. yeah. So right there. Uh -huh. You can see that uh, during the medieval warming period, we were, and these were taken from ice core samples in Greenland. Okay, so that's why these minus, uh, these are centigrade uh, things. So folks, so, yes. When we so talk it was about definitely warmer here in the medieval period. And Roman period, way warmer. And then we have that uh, Minoan warm period. So definitely much, much warmer during those times. But we've had some ice ages. And this is where the major ice age was right here about 10,000 years ago. Uh, we're just ending uh, solar cycle 24. Uh, I think 20, 2008 it started. So, so the global 18 warming or 19. people can say, yes, we were in a modern warm period. Yeah. What we're trying to be is ahead of the curve, right, guys? Yeah. We'll be ahead of the plunge. We won't be able to realize what's going on and what we're heading to is a next mini ice age. Yeah. This Some is people the... say it may not be mini. Uh, yeah, that's true too. But uh, we're on that 400, two to 400 year cycle, and about four, every 400 years, if we go back to the Dark Ages, we were down into the dumps for sure. Uh, so look down here. To go down to that lowest part. The modern middle. Yeah, but it says right before that, the beginning, it says the Great Famine and the Black Plague. So mm -hmm. see, guys, get an idea of what was going on. Glaciers grow and destroy villages. Also, this says witch hunts reach uh, the maximum, maximum in the 1600s. 1600s 50,000 witches were burned at the stake. How about that, guys? Yeah. That was a really dark period. In many speak. ways. Yeah, dark ages. Yeah. Dark. So, guys. So, what I was saying is, so mm -hmm. cycle 24 is ending uh, probably this year, maybe next year, and then we're going to go into the, what we call the minimum, and we think this is going to be the grand minimum. So, the grand minimum every two to four or 400 years goes into these little drops. So pay attention. You guys are looking at charts all day. This is a chart you want to pay attention to. David Dubine, in a conversation I had with him the other night on the phone, you know, he explained the, the economics are cha changing. Cryptocurrency, you guys are posting a lot about it and the mania phase and so forth, but cryptos may be a real big player in how we transport food in these coming short periods. See, they said the economy is changing, but the weather is going to change even faster. Yep. It's going to make your head spin. Hey, guys. Thanks for sticking around, folks. We'll see you on the next show. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.